Hey guys, I'm the Sun Work Sheep, and welcome to the Weekend Post. In this video, I've got a few repairs to do, and I think you might find it interesting. So, let's get right into it. So the first question is, why fix your stuff when you can just replace it? And, uh, <laughs> frankly, I'm not really sure why. I'm sure the post-apocalyptic inventor can answer that question, link in the description. However, let's get on with this repair. The first repair that I have to do is this multimeter. The meter itself is still functional, however the low range current measurement is not. But a simple fuse replacement should be all that it needs. Alright, so turning on the meter, everything seems to be working alright. Alright, cool. Alright, so next of all, I rigged up this little test circuit here, just a little LED and a resistor and a battery. And uh, if I put this meter between here and here, it should give it should tell me how much current the circuit is is flowing through the circuit. So let's test this out. Putting one lead there and one lead there. Yeah, so we're getting a reading. It's passing current, so I'm going to call that a success. And after a quick calculation, I found that the meter was accurate and the repair was a success. Alright, for my next repair, I have this 5 amp switching power supply. Much like the multimeter, this power supply has a blown fuse on the input side. However, we're going to see if it still works. So if I jump her across the fuse here, just to test, I'm going to go right here, and if I plug it in, and, alright, everything seems fine, let's do a voltage test here, we got 12 volts, okay, perfect, it's working. Alrighty, got the new fuse in, I swear, soldering gets so janky sometimes, I swear, it's awful. But anyways, I've done a continuity test, and we've got continu continuity all the way from the plug, I don't know if you can see it there, yep, all the way to the plug, and to the circuit board, so I think we're good, we'll just give it another test here. Alrighty, perfect. Sweet, got 12 volts. Everything is good. Alright, so with the fuse in this power supply fixed, what we are next going to do is take it and mount it in this enclosure.
Alright, I got the DC connector put in. Now, all I have to do is just come around over here, stick in one of these AC connectors. However, that's boring, so let's do some magic. What? No way, that actually... Alright, got our glued, screwed, and tattooed. Let's test it out. So, plugging it in. Everything seems fine. And if I plug in this small little fan right here. Aha! It's working! Nice! Alright, for my last repair, I have my bike out here, and uh, there's a couple of things I need to fix on it. Uh, so, let's get started. The first issue is, is that the back derailleur of the gear mechanism here, it doesn't quite work as it used to. So the first problem is, I do it one click, it doesn't, doesn't shift. But if I give it two clicks, it does shift. The other crazy thing is, okay, well, it's doing it now, but sometimes it doesn't mesh into the top top gear all the time. So that's the first problem I look, I'm looking to solve. Okay, and by shifting that screw out a little bit. As you can see, it's in top gear now. It works just fine. It does take... The issue of it not quite being right in the uh, detents falling in, into switching the gears is still there, but if I switch back another few maybe, and then if I go back, you can see it meshes into top gear just fine, and I'll do it again. Perfect. The other problem is that the brakes weren't quite aligned with the tires, so a quick adjustment of that fixed that right up. And lastly, a final wipe down to clean off the frame, and we're ready to go. Ride is smoother, brakes work perfectly, the gears actually mesh, which is perfect. This is awesome. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed uh, watching these repairs, and uh, hit that like button if you liked it, and I'll see you later.